Yes guys, today I'm going to show you how to measure angles using your protractor, okay? And now I want to measure the angle in here. Okay, you measure that in degrees, a little symbol like that, and very simply, you get the protractor, you pop it directly in the center, and then you make sure this bottom line goes directly along and lines up with the bottom line okay I'm measuring in here and then I see at what point the other line goes outside okay and I'm gonna start from here and then count up the way so uh, 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 degrees right so this angle Let's call it A, A equals, let me just double check, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 degrees, okay. Okay guys, we want to find X, so protractor, again, pop it in the middle, line it up, start from here, and you're counting that way, okay? It's obviously going to go past 90, and that's when you start, so we're going to count from here on the bottom, 10, 20, 30, 40, 90, 100, 110, 120, okay? X equals 120 degrees, which would of course make this angle what? That's right, an obtuse angle because it's greater than 90 degrees, okay? you're asked to measure the angle of Y, you can do it this way. That's why it's really good to use a pencil in case you need to rub that out. Okay? You know a straight line has the degrees 180. Okay? The way to do it now is draw a straight line Okay. And you know here, if I shade that in, the shaded part equals 180 degrees, okay? And I still need to find this part here, okay? So I'm gonna line up my protractor to go along that line. I could do it like this. But to make it easier for myself, I'm going to turn it around and then measure this way. So line up 10, 20, 30, 40, just under 50. So that's 49 degrees. Alright, so why this whole whole part here will be 180 plus 49 degrees okay which would make it sorry 229 degrees okay and that of course is a reflex angle 